To look at this place, you'd never know. Yeah. So, which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn. Where I stayed five years ago. You got the town hall, the general store, and that there, Tifa's house. So let me guess, this is where you kept a lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave? What? N no way, I, I never do that. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. That's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Go picking on them. Those poor folks have got it hard enough already. Mako poisoning? Yep. I'm no expert, but seems to me that there's two types of it. Hmm. Or maybe two types of patients? We give them sponge baths sometimes, and that's when I first saw. Lots of them have these number tattoos. That, and needle marks on their arms. At least I think they are. Although... We do get the odd one that doesn't seem to have either. Wait, that makes it three types then. Or four? What needle marks? From their treatments, if I had to guess. And the numbers? Got any idea what they mean? Not a clue. Certainly gets the gears in your head turning though, doesn't it? Most have these numbers tattooed on them somewhere, but a few have what look like needle marks dotting their arms. Of course, there are those that don't have any such oddity on them at all. Wait, did I say two types just now? Or three? Or four? Or... A 
bunch of those robed people just showed up out of nowhere. We've been struggling to keep up ever since. Let's take a little break and try again, all right? You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it? If you are feeling unwell, though, you'll have to wait. We need to tend to our current patients first. Just the same thing we did yesterday. You're good to go. where we care for the patients. We provide checkups, treatments, whatever they need. ever since waking up in Corral. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is... Anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Like it was fate. <laughs> yeah, like it was fate. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Can I hate that about myself? I gotta get it together. I gotta get it together. <laughs> 